In 1980, a group of local citizens interested in collecting and preserving artifacts of the local heritage of the community and surrounding area formed the Little Prairie Heritage Society. At that time, the oldest building in Chetwind was the Blue Sky Restaurant. It was donated to the society and moved to its present site in February of 1982. The building was a familiar landmark and served as the first post office, general store, and gas station in 1949. It was the first retail outlet in Chetwind. The province of BC provided the district of Chetwind with approximately 11 acres of crowned land to extend the existing cemetery area and create a museum site. The museum site is just west of Chetwind on Highway 97. The Little Prairie Heritage Museum was officially opened on July 5th, 1987, in conjunction with the 25th anniversary of the District of Chetwind. The artifacts and collections reflect the local heritage of the community and surrounding area, particularly in regards to family life, farming, railways, trapping, logging, and forestry. Much of the farm machinery and other artifacts date from the early 1900s. The museum includes several buildings and displays. The main building houses the family life displays, general store, and schoolroom. Additional viewing areas include the Trapper's Cabin, the BC Rail Caboose, and the China Cabin. The China Cabin houses a particularly interesting collection of over 2,500 jugs and pitchers. Unfortunately, due to structural issues, the Little Prairie Heritage Museum will be forced to close their doors for the summer of 2013. The telepost is supporting the whole front of the building. And the problem is there's dry rot here on the main beam. Okay, what we're looking at here is the roof line. As you can see, because of the issues we have down in the basement, it's caused the roof line to, to um, sag. sag a bit. So that's why we need to fix the basement first. One thing is when they did, uh, re they did the siding and they did the front of the building, they didn't do the back part of this false front. And because of the way that they put the fascia in there, it potentially cause, can cause water to run down into the building and cause us to lose some of our priceless artifacts. One of the other things that we're applying for under the fair share grant is to replace these decks. As you can see, this deck is sloping towards the building. And when the snow does eventually melt, it all potentially will go into the basement, causing an issue. We've had two floods here in the basement. Um, unfortunately, um, this is the height that the water was at the last flood. And as a result, because the foundation is good, but there is, there is um, a bunch of dirt, we need to excavate some of the dirt and make this a proper basement. And so there's proper ventilation. And so you can see where the water has sloughed in. And the problem is we have to go and get a hydro vac and suck a lot of that dirt out. Put a pony wall so this doesn't happen again. Because if it does, it'll, it'll take everything out of from underneath. One of the things that we're going to be asking for funds is to replace the floors. This is a general store. Who ever heard of having a carpet in a general store? The engineer Trevor Scott from Herald Engineering in Fort Nelson came and discussed with Glenn the things that needed to be done. What he said was pretty well what Glenn had already planned. Because almost everything had to be removed from the building, last year Solange packed everything, digitalized it, packed and labeled numerous boxes. When it came time for painting, flooring and installing new lights, Glenn and his crew packed everything into two sea cans. Mel Deck did the painting, Alan Cole did the flooring, and Rick Potterleck did the new lighting. 
When this was accomplished, it was time to restore things to the rightful place. So Glenn and his crew moved all the stored items back into the building. Now came the final job of unpacking and arranging all the artifacts. Julie Shaw and Bob and Bobby Nick Nicholson, with several willing helpers, worked very hard to produce the end product, which you will see tonight. The District of Chetwin provided major help over the years, and the Peace River Regional District provided the funding to accomplish this major undertaking. They are brilliant public spaces, and one of the first things I think of when thinking, what shall I do in this city? Go see the museum. They can give you a bit of a context of the place you're in. They are a place to muse through. You can pretend you don't, you can pretend that you are living in another time and another era. The Little Prairie Heritage Museum is officially reopened. Oh. Apparently, this is the one. <laughs>